One of the best things about Mac OS 8 is that it will give you easier and more intuitive ways to find, organize, and manage information on local hard drives or networked servers. Let's take a simple example. You want to move a document from the desktop to a folder that's buried several levels deep. Today, the most common way to do this is to open each folder, one at a time, until you get to the one you want. Then drag the document from the desktop to the folder. And finally, one by one, close each of the windows you've opened. Mac OS 8 will make this process much more efficient. Just drag the document and pause over a disk or folder. It will automatically open. This way you can easily navigate through the contents of a disk until you reach the folder or window you want. Once you drop the document where it belongs, Mac OS 8 will automatically close all but the last window. If you change your mind, you can instantly undo or redo your actions. For example, you can undo the move and place the file back on the desktop. Or return it to the folder with the redo command. Here's another important way that Mac OS 8 helps you to more effectively organize and manage information from different sources. The Mac OS has long supported the hierarchical organization of files and folders. But with Mac OS 8, you will also be able to organize information around just about any criteria. Suppose you want to find documents whose titles include the word cuisine and contain the text seafood pasta. Just fill in the search criteria and click Start. Text searches will be very fast because Mac OS 8 conducts them in the background while you work on other things. You can also manipulate contents of the new Find window just like the contents of any other Finder window. For example, you can move a document to the desktop or rename it. Your search also can be saved as a special kind of folder. It appears as an icon on the desktop, but you can store the folder anywhere. These special folders give you a new and powerful tool for organizing information just the way you want. These are just a few ways that Mac OS 8 will give you easier, more intuitive, and more flexible methods for finding and organizing the information you need. Mac OS 8 also will help you reduce desktop clutter. If you're like a lot of people, you keep files and documents right on the desktop so you can get to them quickly. Mac OS 8 will make it easier for you to access favorite files by letting you drag any window in the finder to the bottom of the screen. There it becomes a small title bar that slides open when you click on it. When you're finished working with the window, it automatically drops down to the bottom of the screen again. One way Mac OS 8 provides the power needed to run today's and tomorrow's applications is through enhanced multitasking. Because Mac OS 8 can perform multiple operations concurrently, you'll be able to work more efficiently with any application. For example, you can simultaneously make copies and empty the trash while you launch or work with multiple applications. New and updated applications will also be able to take advantage of the advanced multitasking services in Mac OS 8. So you'll be able to make much more effective use of your computer's power, save time, and stay focused on your work.
Apple recognizes that no single personal computer interface will meet the needs of all computer users. That's why Mac OS 8 will offer advanced customization capabilities. For example, the Mac OS 8 interface can be scaled to meet the needs of a wide range of users, from novice to advanced. It also can be customized so that multiple users can share one computer, and the computer will remember each user's application and system preferences. As an example, let's look at a situation in which four people share a computer. One of them is Aaron, a novice. Aaron has a simplified view of the system and can only access specific applications and files. To launch or open them, Aaron simply clicks once. He can't access the system folder, the trash, or additional menu items that he doesn't currently need and might confuse him, such as file sharing or aliases. He also can't make any changes to the configuration of the system, and he cannot erase disks. Chris, however, is an intermediate user. She can use most of the common features. For instance, she has full access to the hard disk, and sees some additional menu items, but other, more advanced features are not visible to her. Chris also has a variety of viewing options for organizing information in the Finder, and can adjust the system settings of her own environment as well as specify a password. Kelly is an advanced user. She protects her desktop with a password, because she has full access to all applications and files. She also takes advantage of the advanced features found in the menus and advanced viewing options. Mac OS 8 will also give users the ability to customize the look of the desktop with different appearances. An appearance also extends to an application's windows and menus. When you combine all these scalability, preference, and appearance features, you can create, for example, a special desktop for a child named Pat. This desktop could prevent changes to the system, yet provide an engaging environment by combining sounds with new menus and new behaviors. This new level of customization will enable Mac OS 8 to meet the needs of a much broader range of users in a variety of environments, especially where systems are shared by users with different levels of expertise. One of the new interface elements in Mac OS 8 is a help menu that offers several levels of assistance. As an example of these, let's look at experts. The Internet Expert will help you set up your system to connect to the Internet. The Maintenance Expert can help you keep your computer running smoothly. And the Mac OS Setup Expert will help you set up your computer and make connections to your local network. Let's take a closer look at the Setup Expert. Experts work by asking questions. In this case, the time, date, and other system configuration information. All you need to do is select the correct time and date, then click on the right arrow to advance. Choose the location that determines your time zone, such as the Pacific Coast.
To establish a connection to your network, type in your name. If you make a mistake, use the left arrow to make corrections. Enter a password. Passwords protect the files on the computer and are especially useful for file sharing. Because the computer in this example is connected to a network, it's possible to create a folder for others to access. To create a shared folder, click the button and then the right arrow. The expert is telling you that several printers are available to you. When you have finished answering the expert's questions, click on the Go Ahead button. The expert will carry out all of these tasks, and when it's finished, your computer will be set up according to your preferences. Another key element in Mac OS 8 is QuickDraw 3D. It brings three-dimensional computing into the Macintosh mainstream. Since 1984, the Mac OS has made it simple for anyone to work with text, graphics, and more recently, QuickTime movies. Apple believes that 3D data should be just as easy to manipulate. Though this may appear to be an image of a palm tree, it's actually a digital model that you can manipulate or scale in real time. You can even drag and drop the palm tree onto the desktop to create a clipping file. This way, it's easy to incorporate your 3D image into another document. Just drag and drop your 3D model into any application that supports QuickDraw 3D. Here's the QuickDraw 3D logo, for instance. You can also work with sophisticated models that contain complex curvatures and texture maps. Video conferencing is easy with Mac OS 8. Now you'll be able to collaborate with colleagues across the country or around the world using the Internet, local area networks, or wide area networks. Let's watch as two colleagues use QuickTime conferencing to collaborate on a shared document. Hey, Greg. Hey, John. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Great, thanks. Did you get that sales report that I sent to you yesterday? Yeah, I have. I want to pop it into our shared window and have a look at it, okay? Sure. Have you got it? Can you see that? Yeah, I have it here on my screen. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'm going to use the red marker and uh, take a look at this first paragraph. I have a question about that 6.6 .6 million. Okay. Can you give me more detail as to what that figure actually was? Y yeah, let me type it in for you. That was uh, 6.623 million, and that was a 69% increase over last year's revenue. Okay, right. Maybe you could add that to the rest of the graph? 
Yeah, that wouldn't be a problem. I can have that for you by the end of tomorrow. Super. Oh, uh, now looks great, and I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Bye, John. Mac OS 8 will offer another important advantage, the ability to integrate Internet and Internet content into your documents. Suppose that you are a teacher preparing a lesson plan for your students. The lesson is on current events. With the help of a good set of instructions, your students will be able to find what they need on the Internet. To create such a document, you're working with a new version of Clarisworks. In addition to supporting text and graphics, Clarisworks lets you add Internet information directly into a document. For instance, clicking on a button can take a student to information from the Wall Street Journal. This provides them access to financial news. You can also embed Internet data directly into a document, such as this live connection to the CNN homepage. With Mac OS 8, Internet data becomes just another part of the document. It's also dynamic so that whenever the document is opened, information is automatically updated. With Mac OS 8, you've created a document that gives students the tools they need in one convenient location. There's no need for each of them to surf the net looking for what you've already provided. Now the Internet can become part of every document you work with. Another area where QuickDraw 3D will be useful is on the Internet. Today, anyone can view simple text and graphics on the Internet's World Wide Web. With QuickDraw 3D and products such as Netscape 2.0, you'll also be able to work with three-dimensional graphics on the web. Whenever a website takes advantage of QuickDraw 3D, as this one does, you'll be able to manipulate, rotate, and view 3D objects just as easily over the Internet as at your desktop. Quick Draw 3D. It's just one of the reasons why multimedia is a standard part of the Mac OS 8 experience.